It should be close. Grazie, Dio. So where are we going? Roadside assistance. Escort Maria and Claudia to the Villa Auditore in Monter... Montergurner... That word. Queen, let's do it. I could have sworn I already did this. I guess this is from the outside of the city now. Uh oh, spaghettios. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. This oh, is a yes. creep. Your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now? Ah. There's no one left to Die. Have I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. Wait, I can't kill this guy? Rude. Oh, snap! Leave them alone. What's wrong with you? I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. Oh, what snap! What is this? <laughs> not sorcery. Oh, I know. I remember who this is. <laughs> Show yourself. I As love this. Wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! What's up, bro? <laughs> Alright. Done. Leave them alone. Can the ladies protect themselves? Or defend themselves? I don't know. I hope they can. Leave them alone. Oh, I'm coming for you, brother. I'm coming for you. Done skis. Ah, uh, last guy, dude. It's everyone against one. I want the final blow, though. There we go. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Here goes. It's -a me, Mario. <laughs> Mario. Been too long, I love it Mario. so much. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. If you guys weren't aware, that was definitely a uh, Super Mario Brothers reference. It's a me, Mario. I love it. I love it so much. Well, hello there. Speak. Casa Dolce? 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 I think it's Dolce. Casa Dolce Casa. That's such a weird way to say it, but okay. Explore the Villa Aritore with Mario. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio, too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I love this place so much. much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> for now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I've never <coughs> been uh, excuse me. a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? That's it? It was built by my great-grandfather. A strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it. But I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? I would here so live here, by the way. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, 
I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But cool. But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Why, thank you. Dude, so, honestly, okay, well, first things first, I kind of want to climb up here. Nope, that's not the way. I want to climb up here and uh, get this synchronization point. But I might play this game off camera just to grind some money and uh, fix up my villa. Uh, I mainly want to focus on the story here on the channel. So I might do all the building and stuff like that. I'll do some on camera, but for the majority, I'm going to do off camera, I think. Let me know if you guys want me to do that on camera or not down in the description or in the comments down below. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do most of that off camera. Unless you guys want me to do it on camera, then I'll probably do it on camera, but we'll see. Can you imagine living in this little tiny castle, dude? That would be, that would be so sick. Geronimo! Kablooey. Alrighty. So what do we got going on? So we got to go to the thing. There's... I think he says supplies or money. Oh. Supplies. It's probably the only store that's <laughs> that's functional here. So repair, no armor, repairs. Later then, yes? I'll find something by then, I'm sure. I didn't... So I need a, a dagger and greaves. So the greaves would be here. That gives me more health. Are you sure you want to buy this item? Yes. Let's go back. Small weapons. Dagger. That's a nice dagger, by the way. Uh, are you sure you want to buy this item? Of course I do. Mainly because it's mandatory. That's all I could buy, huh? Pleasure, signore. Return anytime. Thank you. So... Okay, now we're going this direction. I was about to say, when is this going to upgrade? Oh, there's actually two stores here. Assassinate? I could assassinate them? That's... It's ridiculous. Let's buy everything. I guess I could have just pushed square. Instead of having to press X like a million times. My health is full, so I'm good. Try not to reopen the wound. I won't. Don't worry. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate your help and assistance. And uh, I, lo I love you. What? Or oh, never mind. Alright, bye. Casa Dolce da Casa. Sink. Nice. Dude, we literally... Why does it say assassinate? There's nobody to assassinate in our vicinity. Greaves acquired? Of course it's acquired. What's uh what's the flashing thing over there? I don't know. Let's continue on with the story though. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. That's it? <laughs> I would love to live here. I don't know what she's complaining about. Is it downstairs or upstairs? I want to say it's downstairs. Oh, look, there goes the villa. <clears throat> the fact that it's called Villa Auditore is amazing. Where am I going? Oh, here we go. What's up, uncle? Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. 
You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. Agreed. If not <coughs> for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Double agreed. Optimal. All right, so what's this next mission? Practice makes perfect. See, I'm not real like, I know it's just a mission in the game and stuff, but to be honest, I'm more of the philosophy of pr uh, practice makes proficient because there's no such thing as perfection, right? I don't know. That's just me. I'd rather be as proficient as humanly possible and still know that I can make mistakes instead of assuming that I know everything by being perfect. And of course, since being perfect doesn't make sense, seeing as there's no such thing as perfection... It kind of defeats the purpose of... But anyways, whatever. I'm rambling now. Let's go ahead and learn how to fight with... Uh, from Mario. Well, hello. You a sword, to be sure. But offense alone will not carry a battle. You will survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. And I will teach you how to dodge. Oh, God. Uh, lock on to enemy. Press X to quick step. Use... Okay. I told you before. Hold up. My father was a paper pusher. No, he was born in. Did I do it? Good, I did it. Wasn't very convincing, but at least I did it. Taught you how to avoid your enemies' attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. Ah, counterattacks. All this talk of assassins and templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old party covered in No, counter. Oh, R2. Know? I'm push I'm holding L2. You have your father's blade. I think you have the Got him. Was well. That's one. It's much easier when you're holding the right trigger. The order. It's origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed, if you will. Your father believed the codex contained a powerful secret. Uh, taunt. <laughs> Come get it. If you're gonna taunt, at least back it up he literally was about to start taunting and he got punched in the face Ezio's not a very convincing fighter is he today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle where you stand and how you move can make all the difference don't think I haven't seen you picking up all right hold R2 quickly exit the fight run but why You're not supposed to attack secrecy? me. Are you familiar with the Templars? Honestly, I don't even care if I get hit. During the Crusades. I'm just trying to run. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago. Defeat Mario. Only they weren't. Merely I'm only going to use counters. Where they continue What's up, bro? Oh. He got a punch dead center on his face. Come on, Uncle Mario. I thought you were... Mario, you know what? I'm going ham. Here's a hamburger, bruh. Hurry up and die! <laughs> this is so cheating. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle. For all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Gas. Yes. Oh, my boy. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Why ever could he be so frustrated for? Some might say he knows more about my family than even I do. Whatever could that be? Uncle! Uh, wait. Uh, Where is everyone? They what do I do? San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. It's the and Skyrim Nord. You'll find what you need at the stables. The Skyrim Nord told us exactly where he was at. Alright, so we need to go to the stables, right? 
Practice makes perfect complete. Quick step learned. Okay, so... Oh, no, wait. Did I pass it? Is it this thing right here? I'm so confused. Or is it on the roof? I'm gonna have to go out on a limb and just... Well, let's take a guess and go upstairs. Just in case it's upstairs, but... I'm not entirely sure where I have to go. It's been a while, alright? Be nice to me. Oh, mom! Sister! Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. I kind of feel bad, to be honest. Ooh, a feather. Oh, place feathers. That's right. Okay, one out of a hundred. Oh my god, dude. Yep, that, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So now we leave. Can I just jump off? Coolio. I definitely don't want to train. Nope, don't even look at me. Ignore me, I'm not here. <coughs> Excuse me. How far is this? How far are we going? Is there a map? Uh. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how far this is. So I think we're just gonna have to run and hope for the best. The stables though, it should be right outside, no? I think the exit's right here. This is the stables. Uh... Can I just take this with me? Oh no, that's a... It's the wrong kind of... Alright, good. So then let's... Head back out there, I guess? I legit don't know where I'm going. I'm just going. Ooh, I like that one better. I want that horse. Honestly, I like the white horses better because it goes with my outfit. I know I'm a little bit weird when it comes to that, but yeah, two Tuscany San Gingimano or whatever. Are you sure you want to? Yes, I do. I absolutely do. So then, the the Skyrim Nord said that he was going back, he's going to fight? Right? Did I hear that right? Can I jump things? I could, yes. I don't know why, but jumping, you know, through fences and stuff like that reminds me of, uh, of uh, the Legend of, Z of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In that one mission where you have to, like... Yeah. Ray or I go in a like a racetrack with horses or something. It's a race, I believe. It was it was so cool. I love that game. One of my favorite games of all time, to be honest. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar and we are assassins. Gas. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? See, si. uh, what goes around? Help Mario and his men assassinate Vieri de Pazzi. Oh, we're gonna assassinate him? I thought he was like the final boss. Should I get on my horse? Probably not. Let's just follow Uncle Mario. Should be interesting. I could have sworn that this dude was the final boss. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been literally, what, a decade? Over a decade right, since I played this? Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, 
Get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Damn, look at all the people at the front gate. Okay. I'm pretty sure he says he loves some tacos. But, hey, I don't blame him, because I do too. Dunzo. Okay. I should probably loot this guy. How do I... I legit don't remember how to use the throwing knives. Oh, wait. This way. No. Give me the throwing knives. A throw knife. Dunzo. There we go. So now we gotta wait for... The, the homeboy to turn around. If he ever turns around. You know what? Shut your mouth. Oh my god. Sorry, I don't mean to scare you, lady. I don't apologize. No, give, give me this guy. I want to get close enough that I would actually be able to hit him. That's exactly what my concern was. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to just climb up here. Oh no! Get down! Stop. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. That was that almost went bad. I'm not sure how he's looting, but hey, whatever. Oh god, that that legitimately scared me a little. Where's the other guy? Did I loot him already? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and open this gate for all my friends. My brand new friends. Slash uncle. That I don't remember or recognize. This way, man. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you. Just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. When, I say, when he says nipote or whatever it is, nephew, in, in, in their language, it legitimately makes me think that they're saying nipple. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to kill these guys. Alright, we're, we're, we're going. Ready? Wait, what's going on? I'm so confused right now. Can I not drop kill? Uh. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just chain stabbing everyone. <laughs> what are you doing? Got him. Dude, it's literally all against one at this point. Oh no, there's two of them. Three of them, maybe. Yeah, there's three. So now there's one. Dunzo. I don't think we lost a single man, did we? Either way, I got some serious looting to do. Thank you, thank you. So Brotherhood is my favorite Assassin's Creed. I've said this before. Uh, for the whole training and getting assassins thing. But you know what I did like about uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, what is it, Revelations? Is that you can even get assassins. If I remember correctly, I think it's uh, Revelations that does that. But like you can get assassins to take over like little tiny bases. And man, that, that mechanic was just so cool. Dude, I'm getting all kinds of throwing knives. Let me see. Which one haven't I looted? Or did I loot everybody? Nope. Not everybody. So I think I got, what, four left? Two left. One more after this guy, and we should be good to go. 
This is literally a massacre. Can you imagine being a, like a police officer? And then just walking up to a scene like this? That would be absolutely insane. Let's go over here. We might as well get this synchronization point while we're here. You never know if it's going to come in handy later. Oh my god, I did not want to jump down. What is, <laughs> what is going on? Okay. The Skyrim Nord seems to be preaching at this moment. Eh, I didn't really need to do that, but... Better safe than sorry. Perfect. Can I climb this way? Yes, I could. Dude, this is absolute perfection. Come on, Ezio. Aditore da Firenze. Oh man, I can't go up. Go up. One more. Actually, it's probably better if we go around this way. Because this is a straight shot, literally. Let's check real quick to see if there's any boxes. Sometimes there's boxes around here. And I can use all the money in the world. Alrighty. Game on. Perfecto. I don't see... Oh, there it is. Geronimo! Dude, I, I've gotten paranoid by playing the last game on PC. I I am will. If you guys want to see me finish that Let's Play, I am more than willing, but I would have to literally get to the same point that I was in the game because I'm not going to continue playing that game on PC anymore. That game ran so poorly on PC, in my opinion. So if you guys want to see me finish that Let's Play, definitely let me know down in the comment section down below. Uh, I am willing to complete it. Uh, at least the story, of course, but, again, I would have to, like, get the game on, like, PlayStation or Xbox or something, and then play it that way, because, to be honest, it's, uh, it doesn't run good on PC, I don't think. Alright, we're here. Dun, 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 is he dead? Ezio, He's not. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Where is he? This way? Go to Mario. You! I was about to say, are you gonna attack or what? Uh oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and go straight for the big guns. What's up, bruh? What's up? I'm going ham on these guys. Oh, dude, I just hit my own guy. I didn't mean to hit you, dude. Be nice to me. This game, you can literally just spam the attack button and win. My brothers and I will do What are you doing? I want you go on ahead and root out that thing. I'm coming for you. Got him. I think there's still a couple left. Dude, I just hit my own guy again. Oops. Is that it? I want to loot. I'm sorry, Mario. You're going to have to wait. Or mission, you're going to have to wait because I want everything. Actually, you know what? That is a lot of people. As much as I want to do this, I'm not. Okay. I'm going to be grinding off camera anyways, to be honest. So, there's that. We should do this notoriety, notoriety thing real quick. I don't like being wanted by the guards, you know? I still don't understand. Who's going to see this? Like, let's be real here. Who is going to see that? Okay. Yeah, it makes no logical sense whatsoever. What? It makes no logical sense whatsoever to put those wanted posters on roofs. Like, at all. There's one right around here somewhere, but I don't even see it, so... Before I get it, but there is a synchronization point. Should I get it? Honestly, I think this would be a quick shot. Or maybe not as easy as I thought, but it's okay. 
we'll still be able to do it pretty quickly. Can I not go left? Oh, I was about to say, I could have sworn I could have gone left. Uh-oh. Climb! I was about to say- Wait, hold on. This isn't the synchronization point, is it? Oh, no, it's not. It's not even the right building. It's that building. Okay, sorry. N not gonna do it. Not right now, at least. That was a waste of climb. So for now... Let's just continue on with what we were doing. Actually, I think this is on the roof, right? Well, definitely can't climb with that one. <clears throat> there we go. Is that who I think it is? Pieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. That's Capricorn. Rodrigo Borgia. Your job is to calm the citizens once <coughs> the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refuti when we've finished. Now. Is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of Understanding guide you. If I could be honest, he's one of the Comandante. coolest villains Comandante. in Why? Assassin's Creed. Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Oh, it's full out war. Assassinate. Okay. We're going straight for the for the kill apparently. Ow! Rude. Dude, I'm like right in the center of everything. Ow! Ow! You, I want this guy first. Just cuz he's tanky. Dunzo. Yeah, dude, you can literally beat this game by spamming square, like, non-stop. It's pretty funny, actually. Honestly, do I have to kill all these guys? I don't think I have to. I'm pretty sure I can just go straight for the kill. For... Yeah, okay. You are finished. Let's go. Wait, where is he anyways? Is he up... Is he up top? Dude, you hit me again, and that's your life. I should probably heal the- oh god. Okay, hold up. I gotta kill this guy. Come on. And he's dead. This dude should be easy- oh god. He almost killed me. Okay. You wanna play rough? Okay. Done so. We'll play the slow game then. Dude, is that. That's my Uncle Mario. He's helping me fight. Alright, let's go ahead and heal really quick. Perfect. Sorry, Uncle Mario. Shouldn't have gotten in my way. I'm pretty sure I could have just gone straight for the kill, to be ah, honest. There you are. Oh no. Get down. Alright. Hold up. No, counter. There we go. Are they just all gonna come? Get out of here, dude. Be nice to me. Why are they so rude? Just let me murder you in peace. You get out of. Ah! This dude said, behind you. Hold up. Oh, that was close. Dude, you're so screwed, bro. Alright, let's do this. Alright, hold up. 
Dude, I just kicked him in the nads. Ah! Okay, I... I'm not doing great. You've disrupted our work long enough. Ooh! Today. Come on, bro! Is that all you got? Dude, that's all he's got. Oh, dude, look. His nads are not going to be happy with him tomorrow. Dunzo. I guess his nads are the least of the problem. Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! I have voted a fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! He is angry. Respect. After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. That is the lesson of the century. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Am I notorious again? That sucks. Notorious. Knife belt acquired. Nice. Very nice. Codex page acquired too. Letter to Francesco De Pazzi acquired. Throwing knife skill acquired. Dude, I'm getting I'm acquiring all kinds of stuff in these first three sequences, huh? I guess it makes sense. All right. So we're going back inside the villa. Dude, I really want to upgrade this place like crazy. Excuse me, coming through. Oh wait, did I pass it? Yeah, I did. That was close. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a buttare. <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> Come, it's you. Walk These guys are crazy. You. Yes, uncle. Every time... I, I think I said this already, but... Every time they say Nipote... Or nephew in their language. It kind of sounds like saying nipple for some reason. A change of plans. Learn about the villa and discover the codex pages hidden there. Will do the uncle. The answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes. And he will kill you too, given the chance. Dun, dun, dun. I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Thank you, read Uncle. The letter my uncle gave me. So, is that downstairs? I think that's downstairs. Let's go read this. How did you teleport over here? Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes, your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? 
Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across <clears throat> these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. Altair! His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I'll start with the page I took from Bieri. <coughs> Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Awesome sauce. So we have to go get this thing first, right? Is it upstairs? It is upstairs. All right, let's go get this codex piece real quick. Oh, wait, hold on. Or is it outside? I don't know. I get confused every single time being in here for some reason. What are you doing, Ezio? The villa's viewpoint. No, that's not here. That's upstairs. All right, let's jump down. I got to climb up the roof again, even though I did that already. I guess I got to do it again. Wonk, wonk, wonk. It's okay. How can he not really? Really, Ezio? All right, let's do the easy route then. Bingo. Where could it be? Dude, I would love to own something like this. That ain't gonna happen. So I found one. It's literally right here. They made it easy for me. Okay. There? What are you doing? So we gotta find four. Alright, let's see if we can find the rest. Okay, there's one over here. Wait, hold up. What is this? Oh, this is just a normal box, isn't it? I'll still take it. 289... What is it? Florentine money or some something like that? I'm not sure. Hold on, I want this first. Three hundred and one. Okay, the second one's right here. Perfecto. So we got two more to go. Just run around until we see it pop up on the mini map. It's probably my best bet, to be honest. Where are you? Ah, found one. Lights, lightning strike. I think it's on the bottom floor too. Nice. That was easy. So where could the last one be? Where, oh where could the last codex be? Oh where, oh where could it be? Okay, this one might be a little tricky. Only because I don't know where it's at. It doesn't seem to be popping up on my map either. Okay, hold up. Let's check. Oh, it's way out there. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So then I got to leave the the luxury and safety and security of the villa cuz it's on the outside. It's over here. Okay. I should probably take this horse. It'll probably be... What is in the world is going on? Can I not go through there? I guess not. Okay. Okay, well that's... That's a shame. 
I guess it's not like Skyrim that you can climb everything. <laughs> okay. Turn, you freaking horse. Ah, the last one's right here. Ooh, I like that horse better. That that is that is my What's going on? That is my new horse. I hope I get to keep it if I if I mount it. Mount. Please let me keep it. This is like the perfect horse for me. Exit the sun. Not sure what that means. Check on Claudia. So that's back in my mom's room, right? Okay. Well, we're back. I hope we get to keep our horse. Oh God. Oh God. What's going on? Oh man, I can't get off. I can't go inside with it. What a shame. Dude, this is so cool, man. This is so cool. I can't wait to have this place running back in tip top shape, you know? Okay, so mother. Wait, who am I checking out? Mother or Claudia? I think it's Claudia. Okay, so we're back inside. She's upstairs. Let's go and talk to her. Okay, sorry for that weird cut. I had to check something really fast. Let's talk. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Mom? Mom looks okay. So she's not in here anymore. Or is she higher? Maybe... I think she's downstairs, but I kind of want to look up here real quick. Or maybe... This is cool. What's in here? Like, what is this room for, I mean? Oh, there's two of them up here. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely cool. That was... That was close. Okay. So since it's not up here, it's gotta be in that room where we last spoke to Mario. In Maria's room? Oh, that was that was Maria's room. Yeah, it's gotta be in here. Definitely down here. Oh, there she is. Hi. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If I <laughs> was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem Smart. is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. All right, cool. So I have 1,200, no wait, where's my money? So this is the summary of what my shops are making. So it's making me 125 for the shops every 20 minutes. Renovations, zero out of 20 minutes. Collections, 145, that's 14 per 20 minutes. Equipment, sure. Can I get... Okay. Armor of Altair? Bruh, I want it. Collect money from chess? I can't do that. Okay, sounds good. Claudia will now store 
The villa's income chest uh, in chests next to her. Okay, cool. So, oh, this is the renovator guy, right? One giorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? You are correct. Uncle! I like this architetto. He gets very <laughs> observant when he can smell mud. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Cool. So, what can I afford? I have uh, 10,083. So there's art. Okay, what does this do? This merchant sells paintings. Renovating this shop will increase the city's value. Okay, so the bank uh, will greatly increase the city's value. Does the bank also upgrade the amount of money I can have? I don't know. So I have level one of this already done for the blacksmith. That's good. And I have that already. I think I want to go with level one. A brothel. Mines. Reopening the mines will increase the city's value. Church. Renovated. Okay, so all of this just increases. Ooh, military barracks. I kind of want this. Thieves Guild. So it's like a well. What does this do? Fixing the well will increase. The, okay, well, everything's. I think I want to get as much of these ones as possible. And then I'll start upgrading these other ones. So let's start. Let's start with the military barracks. That's 3,000. Okay. That's one. Let's start with defense and some operations. Right, so Thieves Guild. So I have... So, uh, man, I have 4,000 left. So I could do... The brothel for some fun for my people. The mines for value and potentially new items. Church for some, uh, I guess some spiritual healing. Well, the well, probably because they kind of need water. So we'll go with the water. I don't know what it's for, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. And I'm flat broke now. I think I only have 83. Yep. So I need 4,000, 4,000, 3,000. So that's 1,100. I mean, uh. Thousand, eleven thousand more dollars to get the rest of these three, and then I got a lot more. Okay, so that's all I can do right now. Cool. So I should be getting money, right? So let's, uh, I kind of want to talk to her and see. Uh, can I talk to her? Oh, there we go. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? Yes, I want to see my summary. So, renovations. I'm getting $1,000. Or, oh, sorry. Florence. Or F Florence, I believe it's what it's called. I don't know. I definitely don't know. 1,000 F. <laughs> Every 20 minutes just for that. So, altogether, my entire book is 1,157 F <laughs> per 20 minutes. That's not... That's not too bad, actually. I might definitely do this off camera for obvious reasons. I'm excited. Do I have anything in my chest yet? No, zero. So my capacity, okay, so the villa's current currently generates an income of 1,150, uh, 1,157 florins, Flor florins. So I was, I was, I think I was right. I don't know. Deposit to your chest every 20 minutes. Maximum chest capacity is 4,630. 
How do I increase the maximum capacity? It's the banks, right? I probably should have gotten the bank first, to be honest. Thank you. So what's next? Over here? Uncle Mario, I'm here. 